Hello, welcome to Check It Out with Rich. We are at Scripture Rocks, and it's near Brookville, Pennsylvania. Um, apparently, back in the early 1900s, this gentleman here, Douglas Stallman, was a very religious man. Um, he didn't believe in uh, medical care, and he ended up uh, losing his wife because of it. But uh, that was in Indiana. He ended up coming here, and he found this grove of rocks here, and apparently he made inscriptions on them. So we're gonna take a walk on a trail and uh, check out these inscriptions. Supposedly he had like 500 rocks all together, and I think uh, like 150 of them he made inscriptions on. And this isn't the only location. There are other locations around the Brookville area. So we're just gonna take a walk on a trail here and uh, check out some his scriptures. Yeah, as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of trails here. They're not saying uh, how long they are, but Becky does have a uh, trail guide, so it should give us some more information. Okay, and we're off. Okay, these trails are pretty nice. They're uh, color coded. We're on a green tree, green trail now, and we're coming up to an intersection of red and yellow, and we're going to take the yellow. Okay, and this is uh, rock number one. See if there's an inscription up here. Yep, right here. I don't know how well you can see this. Yeah, I guess on one of these rocks, Altar Rock, we'll see if we can find it. But I guess that's where he lived as a hermit for uh, a few years before he was committed into a sane asylum. So we'll see if we can find it. And here's number three. This is called Coming Out. Thou shalt see now. And then four, I think, is right here. Four is consecration, wherever it's at. Right here. Right here. That's really wearing. Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah, you probably can't see that, but. Okay, here's five, six, seven, and eight. You can barely make writing out. See here? Yeah. You can barely make it out. Well, it says in that little book what everything Yeah. Says. And then uh, six is up here. And these are all scriptures. And then eight. There's seven. Can't read it. Mm 
here is eight. Very interesting. He uh, really committed to it. Okay, here's an interesting one. This is uh, 46 rock shelters. Well, there's a of scripture on this rock, too. Oh, well, there? Yeah. Okay. Barely read it. Oh, interesting. So there were Indians here at one point. Be a nice place to hang out. So he wrote this as a uh, warning to one of the local uh, preachers. I guess uh, the local clergy didn't like him very much. I guess so, because at one point, I guess he had like 500 followers until they found out about his uh, wife in uh, Indiana. I guess they disbanded or something. So yeah, but at one point he had 500 people following him. It was pretty good. Uh, no wonder the local clergy didn't care for him too much. And here is Alter Rock, where he lived. I haven't seen anything that really said how long he was here. Just going by this uh, placard, it looks like uh, at least two years. But he lived up on top of this rock as a hermit, and he gave sermons from on top, and that placard said as many as 70 people attended. Well, let's see, it says, on a March Sunday in 1909, he dedicated it, conducted in early May, he began co conducting open-air church services, added walls in 1911, and in 1912 it became his home. But then in 1918, it says the photograph of the same rock shows no structures. So sometime between 1909 and mm -hmm. 1918. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I've been coming up here my whole life. I never knew this was here. Uh, if you ever get a chance to be in the Brookville, Pennsylvania area, I'd definitely stop by and check it out. Uh, he did a lot of work here. Uh, is he nuts? Is he a religious nut? I don't know, I'll let you decide that, but uh, he's definitely got conviction. So, yeah, so like I said, you get in this area, stop checking out and we enjoyed it. We're going to come back in the summer when it's a little warmer. Take our time. So, all right. So once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.